Is your PC struggling to keep up with the latest games? Well, maybe it's time to get a new GPU. But you don't need to break the bank to get a great gaming experience. That's because today, we're looking into the top 5 best budget gaming GPUs that will give you the power you need without emptying your wallet. So let's get started. First up, we've got the Intel Arc A750. Now, I know what you're thinking, Intel making graphics cards? But here's the thing, they've really stepped up their game, and the A750 is a perfect example of that. You can snag this card for a less than middling price, considering what it offers. This GPU is a solid performer at 1080p, and it can even handle some games at 1440p if you've got a compatible monitor and are willing to tweak a few settings. It's got 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM, which is plenty for most modern games, and yes, it even supports ray tracing. Sure, it isn't quite as polished as what you'd get from NVIDIA, but it's there, and it works. You'll easily hit 60-plus frames per second in games like Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p high settings. But games like Starfield, which aren't well-optimized for Intel's architecture, can still be a bit of a struggle. The A750 does use a bit more power than some other cards, with an average draw of around 189 watt. And, while Intel's drivers have improved a lot, you might still run into the occasional hiccup. But honestly, for the price, those are trade-offs you should be willing to make. After all, the ARC A750 offers a ton of value if you're primarily gaming at 1080p in the modest possible setup. Next, we have the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Gaming X. Now, this is a card that's been around for a bit, but it's still a great option if you're building a budget gaming rig, especially now that you can find it for far less than the original price. The RTX 3050 comes with 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, 6 gigs? Isn't that a little low? And yeah, it's not massive, but it's enough for 1080p gaming in most cases. Plus, this card does support NVIDIA's contemporary ray tracing engine, which is pretty cool. You'll get smooth frame rates in most games at 1080p, including over 100 FPS in games like Fortnite or Apex Legends. But let's be real, for more demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077 or Horizon Forbidden West, you might need to dial back some settings to keep things playable. One thing that really stands out about the Gaming X version of this card is its impressive dual fan cooling system. It keeps the card running nice and cool, even during long gaming sessions, which is a big plus. A potential downside is that it won't get as many driver updates as the newer 40 series cards since it's a last-gen card. But NVIDIA is usually pretty good about supporting their cards for a long time, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Rather, for the price, I'd say this is still an amazing value pick for a 1080p NVIDIA card. At number 3, we have the AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT. Now, this card is a bit of a sweet spot in the budget GPU market. Think of it this way. It's a last-gen card that's punching above its weight, delivering performance that's really close to the newer AMD RX 7600 and even the NVIDIA RTX 4060 in some cases. The RX 6650 XT is primarily designed for 1080p gaming, and at that resolution, it absolutely shines. You'll get a smooth, buttery experience in most modern games at 1080p, and it can even handle some games at 1440p if you're willing to drop the settings a bit. It comes with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a 128-bit memory interface, which is plenty for 1080p gaming. And yes, it does support ray tracing, though I'll be honest, ray tracing isn't this card's strongest suit. But here's the kicker, it also supports AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3, or FSR 3, which can give you a nice performance boost in supported games. Performance-wise, you can expect really solid frame rates in most titles. We're talking well over 60 frames per second in games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Forza Horizon 5 at 1080p e-high settings. Power consumption is pretty reasonable too, sitting around 187 watt. Cooling will vary depending on the specific model you get, but something like the Sapphire Pulse has a pretty decent cooler that keeps temps in check. All of these make it a really compelling option if you're looking for the best bang for your buck at 1080p. Coming in at number 2, we've got the AMD Radeon RX 7600. Now, this card had a bit of a rocky start when it first launched, with pricing that was a little optimistic. But AMD has since adjusted the price, which makes it a much more appealing option for budget-conscious gamers. It promises to give you 60-plus frames per second in demanding games at 1080p and even higher frame rates in less demanding titles. And for the most part, it delivers. It's got 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM with a 128-bit memory interface, which is 
pretty standard for this class of card. Besides, it also supports ray tracing, but like the 6650 XT, don't expect miracles there. However, you do get support for AMD's FSR3, which can give you a nice performance boost in compatible games. Performance-wise, it's generally slightly ahead of the RX 6650 XT in most games, giving you a smoother gaming experience at 1080p. Notably, though, where the RX 7600 shines is power efficiency. It only draws about 151 watt on average, which is noticeably lower than the 6650 XT. Besides, it's also relatively quiet and supports AV1 encoding and DP2.1 output, which are nice extra features. So, ultimately, the RX 7600 is a solid card for 1080p gaming, especially if power efficiency is a priority for you. And finally, at number one, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060. Now, this card has seen some price adjustments since it first launched. And at the current price, it's a really compelling option, especially if you're not ready to compromise ray tracing for money. The RTX 4060 is designed for smooth 1080p gaming, and it absolutely delivers on that front. You'll get high frame rates in pretty much any modern game at 1080p, and it can even handle a lot of titles at 1440p with ease if you're willing to tweak some settings. It comes with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM, which, yeah, I know, some people might find it a bit limiting, but it's enough for most games at 1080p, especially with DLSS. And speaking of DLSS, that's where this card really shines. DLSS 3 and frame generation can give you a huge performance boost, especially in ray-traced games. For instance, in the highly demanding game Cyberpunk 2077, using the Ultra RT preset typically brings most cards below 30 frames per second. However, when you activate the RTX 4060's DLSS 3, the frame rates jump to over a smooth 90 frames per second. You really can't find that kind of ray tracing performance anywhere else at this price. Besides, the card is also incredibly power efficient, with a TDP of just 115 watt. That means it'll run cool and quiet, and it won't put a huge strain on your power supply. Now, some argue that its performance is more in line with what you'd expect from an RTX 4050, but honestly, at the current price, with DLSS and frame generation, the RTX 4060 is definitely way more powerful, and being a current gen card, you'll get driver updates for a long time. So, if you value ray tracing and DLSS, the RTX 4060 is definitely the best budget card you can get right now. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon for instant notification so that you never miss a video from Tech Insight.